Welcome, curious minds. Today, we'll visit two spectacular Los Angeles homes of the legendary Hollywood actor Marlon Brando. You might know him from films like A Streetcar Named Desire, On the Waterfront, The Wild One, The Godfather, and Apocalypse Now. Numerous actors dream of an Oscar, but only a few refuse. Brando was the one in the Hollywood world. Marlon Brando in The Godfather. The Academy Awards ceremony held in 1973 became a real sensation. That way, he expressed his protest of Hollywood's treatment of Native Americans. Let's see if the mansion in the Hollywood Hills, also known as the Laurel View Residence, will reveal something unexpected about Brando's flamboyant character. The Hollywood icon's $4,295 million home was built a half mile above the Chateau Marmon on the Sunset Strip, Los Angeles, in 1926. It had been Brando's home throughout much of the 1950s. The design was created by an architect, Adolphus Frederick Leicht. Actress and dancer, Anne Miller, famous for her work in the classical Hollywood cinema musicals of the 1940s and 1950s, once lived in this estate. Look at this stunning mansion. Opinions differ. Some say it was built in the neo-Gothic style, and others are inclined to the Mediterranean style. Regardless of the style, it is a lovely 4,363 square foot house with four bedrooms and five bathrooms. The four-story home boasted two fireplaces, guest quarters, a library, an office, a rounded art studio, a wine cellar, and a sunroom. A detached two-car garage sat on the 12,607-square-foot territory, but no pool existed. From the outside, the warm grey mansion featured a grassy backyard with expansive views of Los Angeles and other A-list residences, including those by the architects Frank Lloyd Wright and Charles Kyson. The house has stunning views of West Hollywood and downtown Los Angeles from one of the expansive windows in the bedrooms overlooking the city. An oversized picture window in one of the rooms overlooked the trees, letting plenty of light inside. The sweeping 270-degree jetliner views of Los Angeles and the ocean were Brando's last argument when he was hesitating whether to move into the house. It's awfully nice to go out here in the evening and have dinner at this sort of little nook here, especially on warm nights when the desert wind comes up over the hills, said Brando. The unusual circular towers and red tile roofing complemented the atmosphere of Hollywood chic. A winding stone path led to a massive front door inviting guests to a tiled front foyer with a winding staircase. By the way, the turret foyer served as a background for a photo of Brando with his first Oscar in 1955, the one he had accepted. Then Marlon told Edward R. Murrow on CBS Person to Person, It's a very pleasant place to live, and I enjoy it very much. Here's one more high from the Gothic-style followers, they say slitted windows lining the staircases add a deep Victorian Gothic feel to the house. The magnesite staircase with wrought iron railings headed to the informal living area with an ornate limestone fireplace, the room's centerpiece. The informal large living library dining room could welcome up to 20 people. It looked cozy and warm despite the white painted walls, a creamy sofa, armchairs, camel tiles, and an ash-brown wooden table added warmth to the interior of the living room. The colourful garnet-patterned rug was beautifully combined with decorative sofa pillows. The room decor was also enriched with numerous artworks hanging on the walls and miniature statues. However, it didn't look overwhelming. Drop-dead outside views were the paintings by themselves and windows were the frames. 
the L.A. home's interior looked amusing, with its flying buttresses, vaulted ceilings, and grand rooms. A white subway tile, backsplash, and a charming, window-lined breakfast nook complemented a recently renovated kitchen. Yes, the estate has been substantially updated since it was built, but modernizations mainly touched the kitchen. The kitchen was fully equipped with high-end stainless steel Viking appliances. The four bedrooms occupied the second floor. The main suite boasted its own sunroom with an unobstructed view of the celebrity neighborhood. The white main suite would look stark without the stunning Los Angeles views that set off the interior. A spacious library featured built-in shelves. The house had a rather vivid selling record. In 2015, the asking price for the Laurel View residence was $3,095 million, but it was actually sold for $3.1 million. In 2018, John Gilbert Gatti purchased the house for $3.9 million. The mansion again appeared on the market for $4,295 million in 2021 and was sold in March 2021 for $4.15 million. Now we'll move on to the next house of the rebellious actor, a gated 5,000 square feet estate designed by the African-American architect Paul William. It's situated on over two-thirds of an acre in the Hollywood Hills. The house, which had 16 rooms, including six bedrooms and five bathrooms, was built in 1939 and served as Brando's primary residence for many years, from 1953 to 1965. The estate witnessed Marlon Brando building his acting career in Hollywood. It was located opposite Universal Studios, in the San Fernando Valley. From 1968 to 1969, the estate was modified into a celebrity yoga center and was occupied by an ashram. Hollywood stars were members of this yoga center. The well-maintained territory featured a swimming pool, a multi-use sports court, and a terrace with a designated area for entertainment and barbecue, all in the splendor of a lush bamboo forest and palm trees. The sunroom and main bedroom had access to a spacious deck overlooking the pool. The exterior was also complemented with a cedar barrel hot tub and a large lawn. The main level comprised a living room with a wood-burning fireplace, a sunroom, a dining room, a home movie theater, and four bedrooms, including the main suite. A brown-hued kitchen with a vaulted ceiling and prop-like chandelier has been recently remodeled. The spacious sunroom, with its cozy white sofa, armchairs, tiled floors, and stunning curved glass walls, let in plenty of light. The main suite featured white painted walls, hardwood floors, a king-size bed, and a fireplace. The first-floor study in Brando's estate could boast of a similar hidden room. The lower level offered two guest suites and a family room that led to a park-like backyard and sports court. This Brando's house was last listed for $3,495 million and sold in 2006 for $215 million. Its current owner is Jack Bauman, who worked as the chief legal officer for Public Storage Corps. Today, Marlon Brando's former Hollywood Hills house stands as a testament to his legacy, both as a monumental talent in cinema and a complex figure whose off-screen life was as captivating as his on-screen personas. Which LA house of Marlon Brando has conquered your heart? The castle or the Hollywood Hills house? We're open to your opinions.